All right, boys, you ready for this? Oh, the moment you've all been waiting for. There we go. There we go. Come on, boys. Fresh air. Come on, Chef. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Oh, the backyard. You know, we don't get to do this in the mornings anymore during the week. Because the sun's not up by the time I leave. Maybe in summertime it will be, though. I'm pretty sure it will be. You know, our morning's outside here. It's a beautiful day today. It was so cold during the week. And I guess the weather people were right this time. It's all going to start melting this weekend. Commander, what are your orders? Are you hungry? Would you like some breakfast? You, are you hungry? Commander? Wiener? Tell me, tell me, how hungry are you? How hungry are you? How hungry are you? Can you do a dance? Can you do a dance? I'm not dancing for no one. Fine then. Wiener, can you dance? How about this? Is this dancing? Close enough, eh, Chef? Close enough? First things first, though. Sorry, guys. Need to make sure that I've got my coffee ready, okay? Okay? Is that okay? One scoop. Two scoops. Three scoops. Four scoop. Usually I do more, but we got these little tiny filters now. I think we got the wrong filters. Now I'm gonna do one more. Let me do one more. Five scoop. Ah, ah, ah. There. See? Oh, I'm very excited. Very excited. So how do you make your coffee in the morning? Let me know. Do you buy it? Do you make it? How many scoops do you use? How big are your scoops? This is important information. Wiener and your heart meds, sit, stay. He's obsessed with food, uh, stay. Okay, there you go, it's getting so much better. And you remember how we always sort of had to sit with the commander and, uh, and coach him along to make sure he ate all his food? We'd always sit right down there with him, watch this. Watch this, there you go, bud. Look how much improvement's been made. He'll sit there and eat the whole thing all by himself. He doesn't need your help, Wiener. All by himself. It's been well over a year. When we first got him, he, it was hard to get him to eat at all. He didn't want to eat at all for at least like six to eight months. We'd always have to sit there and coach him along and it would take like up to half an hour to get him to finish his meal. He was a foster that came to us from a good home. Uh, she just couldn't look after him anymore. Uh, she had a couple of treatments and you know appointments with the doctor and stuff and uh, couldn't watch him for a while so it was supposed to be a short-term thing but you know, he's been enjoying himself here so good and so well and things have been going so well that uh, she said he could remain a member of our pack almost done there bud all by yourself look at you 
Good job. You need someone to hold that? That's okay. You finish up, bud. Good job. That's awesome. Now for the treats. They're actually medicine, but shh, don't tell them. Chevy gets his probiotics because he's got a sensitive stomach. He's got a lot of allergies that took a long time to figure out in him. So these help with his stomach. Can you sit? Gets those every morning. These are for the older guys, they're glucosamine. And uh, they help with their joints as they're getting older. And they're pumpkin flavored. Then once we have all the empty bowls, quickly wash them so that everything stays clean. Some guys in my comment section, they like to call me a domesticated man and all that stuff. No. I just clean up after myself. Sometimes. <laughs> So Britt is at work today and has left me here to fend for myself. Well, I guess I got the boys and the commander. But the commander hasn't been giving any orders lately. It's been eerily silent. So we're not sure what to do. Usually he would communicate telepathically and just tell you, but he's been very, very quiet lately. I'm not too sure what's going on. Chevy? Do you know anything? I don't know anything you don't know. Wait, what? Wait, you don't know anything I... Wait. You don't know anything that I know, or you don't know anything that I don't know? Yeah, that one. Britt is working this whole weekend, uh, Saturday and Sunday. So, uh... We won't get to spend as much time going out and doing things. I was hoping to get out to our spot, but there's not much we can do out there right now anyways until the ground is thawed, which will be a few months yet. It is a really warm weekend. I was kind of hoping it'd be kind of nice to have another bonfire out there. But alas, life, you know, life is busy. Life is busy. Can I have an extra large coffee with two cream, a shot of espresso? Uh, could I also get a honey cruller donut? Sure. That's it. Thank you. Super duper. So yeah, this uh, it's it's been nice and relaxing. I mean, I had the house to myself, Saturday and Sunday, which is something that hasn't happened. Well, actually, well, it used to happen. When I came back from my trips when I was over the road, sometimes Britt would have to work every day when I was at home. And that was sort of a bummer because, you know, I was gone for like two weeks and I'd come home for a few days and then, you know, she's she's got responsibilities and she's got a, she's got to work as well. That's why we didn't always get to spend time together. That's another reason why I want her to be home every day, right? So that even though we're both working a lot and working hard, we can at least have those little moments together uh, and take advantage of whatever chance we do get to spend together, right? So if we can't see each other today, well, you know, we'll see each other in the evening before we go to bed. And we're gonna spend some time together tomorrow evening, right? So I do know a lot of you have been wondering where, what happened to Britt's beat. Uh, Britt had a YouTube channel. It's pretty cool. I, I enjoyed us both being YouTubers for a while there, but YouTube isn't for everybody. It comes with a lot of extra stuff. It's a lot of extra work and uh, you've really got to enjoy it. It's gotta be your thing. And it's my thing. I love making videos on, on the internet. I've made silly home videos since I was a kid. Some of which I hope never make it to the internet. <laughs> I don't give my family any ideas. A, uh, I always liked the camera. So making videos for me is uh, natural. I, I like sharing stuff with people and sharing my day and getting their opinions on my day, seeing if they agree or disagree with me. Sometimes I just like to rock the boat just to get people fired up. <laughs> I don't like to do that as much anymore. I like to keep it kind of kind of chill. Just we can just hang out. But yeah, sort of my thing. It wasn't really her thing. She didn't like doing it every day. And uh, we do have some ideas for uh, new ideas for uh, videos with the dogs. We have new ideas for videos at our land. But it all comes with time, and there's not enough time in a day. That's the biggest problem. We need to figure out a way of making the days longer. Like a 48 hour day would be great. 
if we could stay awake that long. But yeah, I always run out of time. So I did ask her to maybe film just a few clips here and there of the dogs while I'm at work, or maybe show what's going on around the house while I'm at work. You know, and she said maybe someday she will. It all depends on if she feels like it, if she's feeling up to it, or if she's got the time for it. I told her she didn't have to, she doesn't want to, but I thought it'd be kind of a, a cool addition to sort of blend our days together. We used to do that, but like I said, YouTube's not for everybody. 